Today in this video, I will show you a simple way to make the notes you play sound musical. This is not as hard as it looks. We can use this simple pattern over any chord. My name is Rusty. Welcome to my channel. Grab your guitar and let's get this simple concept under our fingers. Okay, we're just going to use the A chord, D chord, and the E chord for these examples today. So I have the pattern up there on the screen, and this is going to be the same pattern for each chord. So once you have the shape down, you're good to go. So I'd like to alternate these two strings. And then back again, then walk up. and then start the pattern again. So it's basically an arpeggio of an A9 chord. You're adding this, this B note here, which is the, you're adding the nine. Which adds a, just a lot of color and adds movement to the arpeggio. And shortly, I will show you how this simple arpeggio connects to the A pentatonic scale and the A major scale to really give you some confidence on this fretboard. So now going to the D chord, I'm really looking at this little shape here, these three strings. But again, the pattern is the same. Once you get that under your fingers, you're going to be able to flow. It might take you a few minutes. If you have to pause the video to get each one of these chords down, do it. Don't try to move on before you really have this under your fingers. You won't regret taking the time to do this because it, it really just gains you a, a great connection with the chord and the notes you're using. And then moving on to the E, the same pattern, you know, looking at the E chord, but this little figure. Now, mixing these together, that's all I did in that little intro. So this might be a lot for some of you to take in but take the time to do it. I promise you, you won't regret it because it's just such a powerful tool to have that connection. You can, then you can actually just play more of the licks that might come to mind, but they're, they're, you just use them in a different way because of this little pattern here. And once you have this under your fingers, you can really let loose a little bit. And then we're starting to play elements of the A major pentatonic scale. But when you play it this way, it just sounds more like music. You're not playing just a pattern. this lesson's helpful, hit that like button. I so much appreciate all your support.
So we can use this concept in any key, not just A, but this, this works over any key. So let's take this a step further. We can add elements of the A major pentatonic scale. And also elements of the A major scale because the, this is all these three chords are in the key of A. You can play those two scales anywhere on the fretboard. I'm just showing you an area of the fretboard we can really focus on the two scales with this concept we just learned. So if we play an A chord and then play that simple arpeggio, then you can go to the A major pentatonic, back down the, the major pentatonic. It still all sounds good because the, the notes all work. And the same with the major scale, the A major scale. walk right down it just it all fits and just use that in a musical way just don't get some flow to your playing So let's check out this pattern in a different part of the neck. Let's use the F minor chord, which is still in the key of A. And I really like how that sounds. And then E, you can go here also. to D now. And that, that fits over those chords like a glove. So working on these three chords, really good it, it really sounds melodic because you're playing the notes in the chords now as you see you're you're hitting these these arpeggios in a few different parts of the fretboard and you can just start connecting those once you get comfortable with them I know this is a lot to work on in different parts of the fretboard. Even if today you just get the A down, work on that over and over so you have some flow to it. Just do that over and over. Until you can get some flow to it. 
You see how I'm using some different fingers every once in a while? It's just it's easier to slide sometimes. You need to do what's comfortable for you. I use the, this finger so it's easier for me to slide to the next little place on the fretboard. Going back down, I, I use my third finger. If you get these arpeggios under your fingers and are comfortable with that connection to each chord, you are going to start playing melodic solos in no time with a lot of confidence. I had a blast doing this lesson today. It's fun for me just to simply play these notes because they, they sound so good with the chords. They, they are connected. I hope the lesson was helpful and maybe we'll see you on the next one.